Good day everyone. My name is Rafi de la Cruz from BSHM 4A. Today, I am going to make my exit interview in which I'll answer some sort of questions regarding with my experiences and learnings with the Ache team. Let's start with the first question. What are your specific lessons learned that are useful in your future job or profession? Transitioning from classroom-based learning to an online learning setup is a new kind of challenge. However, the Achi team had helped me to push through this and to overcome those uncertainties by inspiring us every time we have our class. What I've learned the most during our virtual internships that will be beneficial in my future career is the importance of providing a quality service. As a future hospitality practitioner, Fulfilling customer satisfaction is our top priority in the industry. But in order to do so, we should possess good traits and attitudes to make those things possible. And with that, everything else will follow. Question number two. What are the challenges or problems encountered during your practicum that somehow affects your learning process? What was your strategies and ways to overcome them to finish and accomplish the training? Since I live in a far flung place, it is expected for me to experience an intermittent internet signal that really affected my studies. However, in order to cope up with the class, I decided to relocate and temporarily reside in a dormitory amidst the pandemic. Yes, it's risky to be outside during this time, but as a student who is determined to be successful in the future, I will do anything for the sake of my dream. Another is on how am I gonna manage my time properly. This is one of the drawbacks of living in a dormitory because you would be responsible in doing all the household chores. But I realized that finishing my important steps before others is much appreciated. Question number three. What do you think are the strengths of your practicum partner or S or THEP as part of your training with your respective training partner? I think the strengths of our practicum partners, particularly the ACHI team, is they are fully knowledgeable and well experienced about our chosen course. Personally speaking, they are really good at explaining things that are usually done in the hotel, even the internship was done for only a short period of time which is a good thing because with that, we can easily learn those things and adapt to it and that would definitely help us a lot in the near future. One more thing is that they can handle things under pressure. They guided us really well. They taught us everything that we need to learn in our chosen career path. Question number four. What do you think are the weaknesses of your practicum partner or S or what needs to be done to improve their services? Based on my experience, I think the weaknesses of our practicum partners regarding with their performances is that they were not able to give us an actual experience due to the protocol and the pandemic itself. They did require us to submit some of the video requirements, however, the very essence of having a taste of what the real world would be like wasn't there. One more thing is that the level of difficulty of the practice activities and assessments given to us. As a college students, we need something that really cha challenge our mind and skill because we are now in the making of foundations which will surely help us to grow professionally and even personally. Question number five. Based on your experience, how do you describe or define your virtual or online practicum? Challenging but worthwhile. Michael Jordan once said, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into the wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Maybe I experienced an intermittent internet access during our class, lack of confidence when doing my activities, unexpected anxiety attack, and the worst part of it is I felt hopeless sometimes. 
but with all my frustrations, I look back where I came from. I thought about my purpose in life and the very reasons why I am doing this. Virtual practicum is indeed challenging. However, it has still the potential to help the students like me who wants to learn more about the hospitality industry and most especially to become successful in the future. Question number six. What do you think are the most important values, characteristics, and behavior of tourism professionals to survive in the hospitality and tourism industry? Give at least three. Elaborate your answer. I think the most important values, characteristics, and behavior of a tourism professional in order to survive in the hospitality and tourism industry is being passionate, flexible, and being fully committed to your job. Being passionate means that you are dedicated and passionate with what you do. It gives us the feeling that we are on the right track. Most importantly, we feel that we do have purpose in life. Furthermore, being flexible is another way to survive in the said industry, in a way that you know how to adapt to certain circumstances in the workplace, you are socially acquainted to your workmates, and you are willing to cooperate with others and not be preoccupied with your own objective or decisions. Lastly, being fully committed to your job. Commitment to your job is a crucial part to an employee's trait. It just simply means that you are willing to do whatever it takes and whatever the outcome would it be, as long as you know yourself that you've done your part, which can be beneficial specifically for yourself and for the betterment of, of the establishment. With all of this, I know that everything will be good just fine.